So, yeah, so have you heard of sylphs? I don't no. know if I'm saying that right. It's a, it's a being that, is, that looks like a cloud, um, but it, like, cleans up the air, and it, like, you know, so you, you, you've heard of them? Yes. And it's a, it's a being that, is, that looks like a cloud, um, but it, like, cleans up the air, and it, you, you've heard of them? Yes. Have you seen them? Like, do you, can you communicate with them? Yes, they're, they're like awesome. They're super awesome. But they've got, their vibration is so similar to water that it's kind of, it's like a little different trying to talk to them. It's definitely a different language. <laughs> so what are they like? Are they cute? Like, they seem like they'd be so cute. Yeah. They're actually quite intimidating. They're actually what? Intimidating. In, you said they're intimidating? No, I'm sure that some people probably wouldn't be intimidated by them, but I'm quite intimidated by them. Because, I mean, when I'm communicating with them, I'm still in a physical body that still has fight-or-flight response mechanisms. And so when you're being approached by all this water energy, it feels very similar to talk with one of them than it does to be like to like be sitting in the ocean and have one of those waves coming at you that's like, am I going to die type of a feeling? And so is it true that these things are filtering the air for us? Yes. What percentage of the clouds that we see in the sky are these silks? A very small percentage. Like yeah, It wouldn't even factor into the 1%. Oh, okay. And for those that want to research it, by the way, uh... For one, you can reach out to Daryl Sprout. He knows a lot about him, but it's S-Y-L-P-H-S. It's the way he spelled it. And Daryl doesn't spell things wrong, so that is how it's spelled. <laughs>